Hey guys, how's it going? This is my review of The Adam Project, a film on Netflix starring Ryan Reynolds. I haven't really watched much of Ryan Reynolds stuff that isn't a superhero film, so this is quite refreshing. And you do see the slight popping head of Deadpool Ryan Reynolds sometimes, but actually seeing him in a bit of a more serious role here as a more grounded character, that was a nice breezy thing to see from him. My mate recommended this film to me, said it was a good watch on Netflix, and we thought, eh, why not give it a go? Might be a nice enjoyable Sunday evening. This film is about 12 year old Adam Reed. He's having a bit of a tough time. His father passed away a couple years ago. And so when his time traveling older self, played by Ryan Reynolds, arrives accidentally in his time, the two team up on a mission to save the future. 12 year old Adam Reed, played by Walker Scobell, I believe. You could honestly say this is the 12 year old version of Ryan Reynolds. His jokes, his mannerisms, his sarcasm. I haven't seen this kid before. I don't know if he studied Ryan for ages just so he can get his head in the zone there, but he did a phenomenal job. This kid really showed his acting chops, like the skill he has. Kudos to him. A buddy movie I enjoyed a lot more than I thought I would. Like this kid and Ryan, they work so well together and they bounce off each other like flawlessly. Any scene with these two integrating together was just so entertaining. There were some heartwarming moments in this film, man. It like really hit the feels. I didn't expect to feel as much as I did from this. And while also this was a very funny film, there was a lot of comedy. Ryan was on top form here. The only thing I'd say about that is sometimes it, it, there'll be moments where there's one joke too many like it goes too far not many it's just the odd time where like oh that was so good and then ryan will say one more joke and then one more and i was like all right slow it down there i was feeling now but you're losing me a bit but for the most part the comedy here was brilliant from both adams and it was just really nice to see ryan trying to balance the comedy and the serious side from his character i mean like i said the deadpool size kind of crept up the odd time but it was nice to see him show other emotions like being angry pissed off annoyed this film isn't anything mind-boggling and it's not reinventing the wheel but not every film has to reinvent the wheel sometimes you can reuse components and mesh it up and make your own combination and just dish out your own kind of flavor i had a real fun time here and i'm a sucker for a time traveler film even though they are par for the course for plot holes <laughs> and if i looked hard enough i know i could find plot holes easily with the time traveling elements of this film and maybe not even time traveling elements there might be parts of these films that have big gaping plot holes that i haven't thought about yet but the funny thing is i don't really want to plenty of films i do want to think about that sort of stuff because logic you need logic in your films because that helps you connect with the story but this is one of those films that's just done well enough where i don't have to look too much into it because it's not trying to do anything amazingly special it just wants you to have a good time here i mean when it comes to something like a fast and the furious you have to have your limits somewhere and go all right now you're just going off the wall stupid here but this one it felt like it knew where its place was it had a head on its shoulders it was like trying to be competent with itself it knew what it wanted to do what it to get across how it wanted you to feel and I was just in for the ride from start to finish. I've seen people compare this film to 13 going on 30, which I haven't watched, but it's going to be on my watch list now. <laughs> and what's funny is that film is starring Mark Ruffalo and Jennifer Garner, who are also in this film, Small World. I thought these two were great here. There were a number of emotional and heartwarming moments in this film, and a number of those moments included these two. And the performances they gave really added to those moments, so you just felt them more. I will say about Mark Ruffalo's character though, he had an arc in this where it was kind of a character developing arc where he was learning from a mistake he made. Not a mistake, it's just something he could have done better. And the way they did this felt a bit up and down. I was like, well, did he do something wrong? Did, was that a mistake? Is there any lesson to be learned here? I still don't think he did anything wrong. I don't think he had to learn anything per se. But the way his arc ended and the way they told it felt very grounded and realistic. And I was just really enjoying it regardless. I think the time travel writing here was okay. At the start, I was a bit confused and my wife had to explain it to me and I had to think on it a little bit. But as the film went on, like you got on board with what they were trying to do and you could understand fair enough. Time travel, man. It can give you the coolest scenes and yet the biggest headaches. Like I said, I'm sure there's some flaws in the time travel stuff as well as various parts of the story. But I was just enjoying this wave of fun and comedy and emotional moments 
that it kind of just left me on a high of satisfaction. But I can't blame anyone looking a bit deeper and analysing the story. I've done that plenty of times. <laughs> I guess it depends on what mood you're in or what the film is portraying to you that you feel like you need to. I thought the villain was pretty cool. I would like to have seen the villain a bit more in this film. There was a scene in this with a villain that I thought was pretty interesting. And I liked the dynamic of it. But it's just that scene and I thought we could have delved a bit deeper into it. I thought we could have got into it a bit more, have a bit more fun with it. You know, just connect with the villain more than we got. I still enjoyed the villain though. They're not the main attraction here, but they did a good job. There was another character in this film though, where they were in it just a portion of the film. That was a bit on and off for me. I enjoyed the whole of this cast. It's just this one person where they had some good moments and I thought, oh, that's nice and that was quite sweet. And then there was other moments where it felt like they had the agenda cloak on and it's just like gearing up to be like perfectionalized in woke mode. <laughs> Speaking of time travel, I guess the character's sort of like a Terminator. Woke mode activated. A couple of over the top moments, but nothing damaging to the film. They weren't in it that long and they had some enjoyable moments as well. They they did their part. The action and effects were really good here. The ships, the weapons, just, just the whole shebang, all that futuristic stuff. You feel like a little kid just watching all this. There was some badass choreography here and just watching Ryan go to town, just like, yeah, ooh, go and get him. And you even chuck in some 80s tunes in this. It's like, of course you gotta have 80s tunes. Everything has 80s tunes, but they always deliver. They always do a good job and just make you feel it. You feel the thrill of it when they play those. But definitely the heart of this is the family elements. The connections between the members, how they realise the wrongs they've done, how they support each other and make up. And I feel like one of the strongest kind of emotional stories you could do is having someone meet their younger self. Where they have this sort of attitude, this kind of like grumpy, hardened personality. And they're just, they're just softened by their inner child, essentially. No one could connect with them more than their inner child. That innocence, it, it just softens them. And it makes the older person realize just like, wow, what's happened to me? What what have I gone through? Like, this is what I used to be. What happened to me? Just connecting with yourself and you really reflect and analyze your life comparing to how you were then and how you are now. And it works both ways as well. Young Adam was learning from old Adam. And so when you're watching the film from start to finish and you're watching both of these guys just open up more and connect and you're there for the ride watching it you just feel like you want to get to know them more so yeah i had a great ride with this even the length felt appropriate like they fitted in everything they needed to without overstaying their welcome the acting was brilliant the comedy was brilliant a little too over the top but nothing that ruined the film i was enjoying the story the futuristic time elements the little surprises they had the villain and of course the emotional moments with the family and that that was just all just gold and that's really what makes this film stand out i guess really this film would be a 7 out of 10 but i enjoyed this a lot more than i thought so i'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 and thank you mate for recommending this film to me we was quite stumped on what we were going to watch that sunday night there wasn't really much on so this really adds some flavor to the evening so thank you very much for watching guys i really appreciate it let me know in the comments what you think of the film good bad could they added anything could they have taken away anything if there's any good films you want to mention and maybe you want me to review that would be fantastic and yeah i'll be very thankful for any support like comment and subscribe all that good stuff and until next time i'll see all you legends later take care